How's it going? I'm Fred from Swampy Acres again. We made this manure pit. We are kind of surrounded by wetlands, so we really didn't want to have a lot of runoff. So we were trying to control our runoff issues. So we built this building to contain the manure until we could get it out into our compost piles or spread it out onto the fields. Um, while doing that, we also decided to add a birthing place for our pigs. So let me take you over there and show you. Oh, here's Becky watering the animals. Hi, everybody. So we made some of these pens. Right there, those doors will open up. There'll be some outdoor runs for each pig. These will be the Faroan pens. We attach our water buckets over here. We bolt them to the wall, and then we use a tube. And we put the hose in the end right here so the water will go down and um, fill their buckets. Makes it a little easier. Then we have our heat lights that are plugged in up there. So the piglets can come down in here. And then these strings pull up and lift the boards up to allow the piglets separated from the mom so they can get heat. Here's our three little rascos. These are our Mangalisa crosses. And they're a happy little pen. Got a water hydrant in here, which is kind of nice for water and the animals. And here's Mr. Stewie, if you remember him. Oh, that's how he commands, telling you he wants attention. Yeah, hi, Stu. That's Maverick and Goose. Everything's a little muddy right now. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour a pad out back here, fence it off, and these will be the doorways. I still gotta sheet the building, haven't made it that far yet. This right now is one of our temporary pens. That's our sow. Uh, she flipped her food dish. And our boar chester. And over here, this young lady, the little Hereford that we have, she'll be the next bread. Hello, young lady. This is some outside runs they have. And then they have their buildings right here. And the one you just saw that uh, Chester was in. I keep them separated. Here's some construction photos we have of the manure pit and the Farrowan barn. We had a local concrete company come in. They did the footings, frost walls, and slab. Poured a slab from the existing cow barn to the manure pit so that we could use a skid steer and scrape easily across. Hay season kind of got in the way, so the building sat idle for a little while. We still used it to keep the manure in so it wouldn't spread all over the property. It gave my friend some time with a sawmill to help cut all the rough cut that we have. Not a big fan of heights, so one of my friends, Alan, he doesn't mind going up on there, so I let him take that job. We figured we had the extra space on the side. It would be a good place to have the farrowing barn put in. Some of our mothers are a little more protective than others, so we built little front containment areas that we could keep heat lights in for the piglets and also work with the piglets and not have an overprotective mom coming after us. We had one batch of piglets in the barn so far. We have a few more that will be coming along soon. We appreciate you guys stopping by and checking out our farm. We hope to see you again. Thank you very much.